Now that you know how to make this DIY paracord compression sack, let's take a look at a few of the benefits. The first big benefit is that it uses one long continuous piece of paracord. You don't have a ton of small pieces knotted together, it's just one 17 foot piece of paracord, which can really come in handy should you ever need it for a survival scenario or anything like that. You have a lot of paracord to work with. The next big benefit is that it's relatively lightweight. This weighs in at two ounces, which is about five ounces lighter than most compression sacks. Obviously that's gonna vary a little bit depending on how much paracord you actually use and what compression sack you're comparing it to. But overall, it's very lightweight. The third benefit is that you get a lot of compression and it doesn't expand width-wise. It stays the same width and you get a lot of vertical compression. And the last benefit is that you don't have to retie knots each time you want to use it. Uh, you just kind of pull up on the washer, you can move these straps aside, pull the sleeping bag out, then when you're ready to compress it again, you just slide the sleeping bag in, make sure that the knot is centered on the bottom, the washer is centered on the top, and you can crank down on it, and you are all set. So if you want to try this paracord compression sack out on your own, be sure to click on the link in the description. It'll take you over to our blog, which has detailed photos and instructions for how you can make this yourself. It's very easy to follow along. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And for more outdoor tips and tricks, be sure to click on one of the videos I've linked here at the end.